So when we arrived, it was a little bit raining and it was like about past 3. So after we got our room key card, we kind of wanted to look around this hotel, like the lobby and everything because this hotel was actually pretty cool. So there was like a business center, Gyeongju Stroll Lobby Lounge, Gyeongju Groceries, Gyeongju 9, and I'll be showing you a few of these later on the video. So this is Market 338. It's basically a food court which you can go. There's lots of different kinds of food you can eat there. And this is Gyeongju 9, which is basically like a photo place where you can take different kinds of photos in it and I'll show you guys a few pictures that I took in here and you also need your key card to go in so yeah <laughs> A short description of what the museum was and also the sections that they wrote down of which one is which and they also had a makeup room which was also cute. Next this is Gyeongju Stroll. Gyeongju Stroll is basically kind of like a library or like a bookstore where you can get books but there's also a coffee shop and little desserts that you can also have and this basically is covered with books. There's shelves and shelves that's covered with books but there are books that you can buy or you can just read a little bit but there's also little spaces where you can buy little stuff like souvenirs or little stationaries or even they had like small DIYs that you could do. So I picked up a book from one of the shelves and started to read it. I think we read there for maybe like 30 minutes. For our hotel room, if you walk in the door, you right away see the bed and also the TV. You have a small desk which you can sit on and also a coffee table with another chair. Right next to the door, I left my suitcase there. There was this pole where you could add your clothing, and there was two shelves on the top. And also there was this safe compartment. And the desk was simple. There was a trash can on the bottom. There was a chair. There was also two cups for you to use. There was also free tea. There was also a small balcony and when I say the view was amazing, people, it was pretty, pretty, pretty. So it's like really small balcony, there's nothing on it, but the view people, oh my goodness, people.
the door, there was this button that says do not disturb in makeup room and also the key card which was really unique for me. And also they had these buttons for the aircon which I kind of struggled to learn how to turn the aircon on. And also on the side there was light 1, light 2 and the master light which was kind of convenient because it was right next to your bed and you could just turn it on and off from right where you were. After we left our hotel to go get some dinner. but also really good and the food came out really quickly and so after we ate dinner we went back to our hotel it was night time and I wanted some tea so we asked for some ice and so they gave us some and so I'm eating I'm drinking uh, green tea for tonight and yeah, so first I took out the green tea and then I boiled some hot water and I just put it just a little bit in just to kind of get the green tea working. <laughs> gave us the ice bucket they had some tongs inside and also the ice was filled up and now we wait for the green tea to get working <laughs> after it was done I wanted it to be cold so I added some ice in it and I think I added a little bit more water because it was kind of too bitter <laughs> to the hotel buffet called The Plate. This man took us to the our seat and I had lots of food there. It was pretty good. After I finished eating my breakfast, we started to get ready to go swimming. <laughs> stuff and we left to go check out and then we went right straight to the swimming pool and it went like so this is just a picture but there was two pools outdoors so there was one big one and there was another one for kids and indoor there was just one huge pool with lanes that I took a shower and then I started to get ready drying my hair and got changed and it was really tiring but super fun at the same time and now we went to go eat dinner <music> after 
after dinner, we went to this place that had a uh, bread that was shaped like a 10 won coin and it was actually pretty good and can we just kind of notice how this is doing this i mean like can we just have that on slow motion how the heck does this work I, i'm kind of it's kind of trippy anyways so it has cheese in it which i'll be like start blabbering about it sooner or later and how yummy it is so yeah okay so i'm eating it and it's like amazingly yummy i didn't expect it to be this yummy and the lady just made it so Sorry, my nose is a little bit coggy. I'm not sure why. I just finished off the swimming pool. I think I've been there for like maybe like five hours. I didn't expect it to be this good. It kind of tastes like a little bit of coffee bread. That's maybe like a little bit softer or like milkier and not that much of like a coffee taste and there's more there's a uh, cheese in it also so it's really good people it's really good oh and this green thing it's a blanket so yeah we stopped at this I don't know what it is but I think it's like some kind of Gyeongju, some kind of bread they make, or it's like really famous. So my grandmother called and she was like, Hey, where are you guys? And we're like, Oh, we're in Gyeongju. And then she's like, Oh, would you mind bringing some that bread, Huang Nam Bang? And I was like, Oh, okay, sure. So we're at this place, and my mom just went in and she grabbed, she went to go grab some bread. So yeah, uh, we're gonna go home now. Oh, and I didn't sleep at all last night because I drank green tea, green tai. So that's another bummer, but you know, it was fine. It was fine. Oh, and also, if, if I don't know if this, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do while editing, if I'm going to put a clip in. Yeah, no, she's not going to put a clip in. But I also did my nails here. It's like I put like on the t nail tips, but guess what? One fell off. I don't know if you can see. Okay, yeah, you can see maybe a little bit. Yeah, so that part fell off. The rest are pretty much on. I'm going to have to do it back on at home when was this nail but I refilled it we got all 10 nails now so this was the bread that I was talking about it had like about five in one bag that I was holding right now and so I wanted to try one and the pattern on this bread was so cute it's like a little flower pattern I think and also if you take a bite in it it has red beans in it to film an outro so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later